And welcome back to Dial H for Shiro Clicks for another Adepticon Super Sealed practice video. That, shout out to Tristan for joining me last time. Now we have Simeon in studio. Yes. You get to build your team, Simeon, out of the two next phase boosters and then one old school Disney Plus booster. Just gonna crack into it. Just yeah. Excited. Okay. Yeah. Right on. The people want to know. These aren't new boosters. You've seen all the stuff. At this point, we've almost seen everything from next phase. That's so. True. Got the Uncommon She-Hulk. We've got a Tracksuit Mafia. That's the common one. We have Uncommon Hulk, the uh, Hang 10 Hulk. We've got Kazi and Clint Barton. That's a good booster and sealed. That's, That's really good. Yeah, heavy hitter with Hulk there. Already she some good no options. Slouch. Yeah. Got some decent range option with Clint. And then filler with Tracksuit. Always like some filler and sealed. Next up. What could it be? What could it be? Could be anything. Ooh. Could be. We've got Aruna. Oh, yeah. We've got ah. Jack Russell. A little support combo. Uh, we've got Kate Bishop. That's the common one. We have the uncommon Jen Walters. And we have a different Hulk. This is the common one. And I mm. think, yeah, he also has a high point line where he's a big smashy guy. So Heavy hitters in these boosters, man. Pretty solid options. And now this one's uh, totally new. We don't yeah. know what's in this Disney Plus booster. Tristan got a great booster last time with the Wanda Maximoff and the John Ooh. Walker cap. That was yeah. particularly strong. I think... So I'm kind of curious, what's in this? Disney Plus sealed. I was always hoping for, like, uh, Spooktacular, but John yeah. Walker and, obviously, the Prime U.S. agent are just, like, insane and sealed. All right. You can already see Darcy Lewis is number one. Okay. Oh, I see Bubble Wrap. We've got a super rare Loki, so the Bubble Wrap is the Tesseract. Ah. Uh, they call it the Tesseract, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Killmonger, the common Killmonger. We have Tyler Hayward, and then we have the common Vision, which I think of the mm. two Visions, that common one has a good solid, like, top dial for, like, attacking. He's some good he, support, too. He's he goes, attacking. Yeah, he's got, like, that bottom dial of double rollout, phasing flight. So, interesting. Right. We'll Let's see what uh, we what we get. Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and come back with the team build. And we're back after some team building. Simeon, you've decided on a team. Go ahead and just tell us about what you built from your three boosters. It was a little difficult. Three boosters gives you a ton of options. So uh, I got up to five characters and then I said, I'd like some leadership, please. So that's how the team got to where it is, which. You got a lot of figures on your team, oh, Simeon. Yeah. So I'm, I'm at seven figures. Uh, the team basically started around the Disney Plus vision, his passenger three. I was like, all right, I have enough celebrities. I was looking at all the celebrities that I had. I think I had six total from those three boosters. So it was enough to make me say, yep, passenger three with phasing. That's great. 30 points. That's what I'm going to play him at. And yeah, that's where the team started. Immediately after that was Darcy Lewis. Just a crazy good economical piece. 25 points, shield team ability, outwit perplex. I'm equipping her with a Tesseract, so she can okay. also phase if I have the extra actions that turn, and then have mm. prob on top of outwit perplex. And then from there, um, I was looking at the Hulks. I decided not to go with the common Hulk. He just didn't quite have, well for points, I just didn't quite fit him, but She-Hulk with an outwit that can also potentially shut off free actions yeah, that my opposing so good. opponent so takes. Good. Really awesome. Um, I won't be able to, well, I will kind of be able to use the Obama stay trait, but that's with uh, Jen Walters' main force. So yeah. I was going to sideline her originally, but I decided on dial prob and then also an 18 defend her whole dial. Kind of worth it. She's got shape change and then, of course, the Obama stay. So I can keep my attacking She-Hulk free mm. by giving Jen Walters uh, tokens from her. And then I, she's also got wild card, so I'm up to two shield team abilities, or if I really want, uh, Jen Walters can copy the Avengers Initiative team ability, okay. which won't do anything for her, but I, yeah, sure, I can no do range. it. Yeah, uh, so it was around that part of the build where I realized I'm gonna need a leadership, and my options were pretty good. I had the super rare Loki, which 75 points, that's not all that he was going to yeah. do, but it's a lot of what he was going to do. So he was kind of 
in the mix, but not really. None of my leaderships actually worked with characters that I pulled except for uh, Kazi, who has martial artist. Mm. He would be able to work with Clint Barton, who is definitely needed yeah. on the team. So Clint Barton got put on the team. He's just a solid range attacker. And yeah, he can choose an attack power on his card. And then this turn he can use the chosen power. So some okay. penetrating energy explosion or some precision strike if he needs it. Okay. Pretty solid. But uh, that was the only one that was like, could work. So I opted for the cheapest leadership that I pulled, which was Tyler yeah. Hayward, 20 points. He's also got shield. So for those keeping track, I'm at four shield team abilities. Clint can't use his own on himself, but he can be a nine range for six damage potentially. Wow. Probably not, wow. but potentially. That's pretty good. Uh, and then... Pretty solid. Yeah, I had to go with this Hulk. He's just the biggest beat stick that I pulled. Yeah. No Invincible on the top end like the other Hulk has, but he's got super strength. He makes sure that my characters can't get Battle Fury. They can't use Battle Fury, which is pretty solid. Uh, it also protects him a little bit if someone attacks him with Battle Fury because he has Shape Change top dial. So Ooh, that's little true. double rollout. And then, of course, he's got that Quake and range terrain action power for his whole dial. But, nice. yeah, two, two heavy hitters to go in. Uh, solid taxi, a leadership. Got enough outwit, perplex, prob to do all of the support things that I need. And then one solid range attacker. So, yeah. well, right on. Cool. My team is going to be the same as last time with me and Tristan's video. So let's go ahead, roll, and we'll see you guys on the battlefield. All right. So trick arrows around Steve. And then I want these three. Perfect. I think the scariest person on the team is Clint Martin. He can go to one, two. So that's an unadulterated six. I think we can just accept that Clint Martin will, will shoot me, uh, even with whatever else. So being the turn, we have to roll for Madison. We should do that on the map. Four, which means she gets to be placed. I want to say it is place. It's like two, yeah, sidestep, but it's place. No, it's move up to two squares is, is actually it what it is. It's oh. move, yeah. Oh, it's the, the magician guy. The magician one, yes. Donnie or whatever. So Donnie she places. will move carrying alligator Loki since they're both mystical and she has whatever it's called. Underworld. Underworld, yeah. So she'll move two squares is, there. Is Madison part of the underworld? She, she's got the team ability. She's got <laughs> underworld. Miss that part of I don't know. She She's making doing... some deals yeah. with the devil. I guess, um, yeah, that's true. I don't know what else. But yeah, so she's, you know, she's a bad girl. She's a bit of a bad girl. You know, aren't uh, aren't they allowed to be? She can also use Perplex this turn. So she will go ahead. Let's Perplex up. I think we'll hold off on her Perplex for now, just because I don't really know where we want to go with this. Let's go one, two, three, four. Six. I don't think there's any other TK. Hulk can like throw something. I think it's really just Hawkeye who we have to worry about right away. So we'll move. We will carry up Steve. We'll put She Hulk there. She Hulk will perplex up her own defense. Um, Steve will then perplex up She Hulk's defense. Let's have. Tracksuit, little sidestep. And then, shall we have Madison move? One, two, three, four, like so. Go maybe four, like so. And then we will double perplex up Loki's defense with Madison. And we have one action left, so we'll just have Saracen move up. And we'll have She-Hulk copy Underworld, I guess. And we'll say it is your go, Simeon. All right. Uh, let's see. I know a few actions that I'm not going to take. Uh, and that's going to be Tyler Hayward doing anything other than giving me <laughs> a plus one action token. Uh, so we'll have She-Hulk sidestep to here so that Vision can get the most out of his... 
passenger three when I do so. Let's see. Two, four, six, seven. I wouldn't mind posting up just adjacent, but I think we'll hang back a little. So I'm thinking somewhere right around here. We'll drop this She-Hulk somewhere where she can potentially see some people, I guess. Okay. She has outwit and then, of course, posing characters within four. Oh, she doesn't have to see them. Within four, given a free action, I can immediately roll a d6. So maybe I'll park her in back a little. One, two, three, four. No. We'll get her. We'll get her so that she all up in harms it. your whole team. Oh gosh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Scar scary, uh, terrifying. Hulk is our heavy hitter guy, so he'll just go we'll just plop him right in the water. Okay. And then Is he gonna pick up anything? Uh no. No. We're just gonna have him Okay. Have him get taxied along. Oh, I see. I see. And then Jen. Jen will go here, I suppose. Now I need my Darcy. Can also move seven. Two, four, six, seven. So maybe I put her in stealth. Two, four, six, seven. Go right there with her. Okay. One, two, three, four. Um, Vision has shape change and super senses. I'm going to use Darcy's outwit to get rid of his shape change. Okay. Uh, I don't think my perplex is going to matter too much. Two, four. I can't perplex him up. I guess we'll perplex She-Hulk's defense down. Okay. And then Hawkeye is going to choose an attack power on his card. He's going to go with energy explosion. Terrifying. Yes. Terrifying. Um, not good, not good. Which not means good. I can't I can't Tyler Hayward to pump his damage up. But Okay. Uh, I mean, I could, but um, not if I energy explode. And yeah, one, two, three, four. I will have two probs on this because she phased and she just has it on dial. Right. So we'll running shot to there. I do have Avengers initiative, so right. you do not get a bonus for no. hindering. No. And we will target vision. Terrifying. No bueno. 11 into all the numbers. This will hurt right away. We'll accept that. That is going to be a, what, a 20? A 20. So that'll even hit Alligator, Loki, and She Hulk, sadly. So we'll have vision roll super senses. Does not get it. So everybody is taken two. That sucks. Man. That's a way to start the game. If only I had a crit hit loaded somehow. That would have been awful. <laughs> that would have been truly, truly awful. And I think I'm just gonna, last action of this turn, I'm just gonna move Tyler Hayward into like this back corner. Okay. <laughs> On the off chance you decide to shoot him or something. Yeah. All right, that is my perplex, my outwit. Um, I did not position her so that she could use an outwit, but that's everything on this team that can do stuff this turn. All right. That hurt. That cut us deep, but we're just going to have to keep rolling with it. Let's go. Madison has to roll for her placement. I can move her up to two squares. Um, Madison can just kind of be some tie-up. I think that's fine. Let's do willpower on Madison as well. And then willpower on Saracen. Does get it. Very solid. Okay. So I think we need to, gotta do a few moving attacks here. We gotta get our choreography up. And we gotta start just, yeah, we gotta start making some headway with stuff. I think Darcy, should be on the chopping block. I think she needs to go. Uh, she'll goes one, two, three, four. Uh, that'll still be. Jen will have prob on it. So maybe we do a little attack before then. I think I feel really confident doing this. So we'll have Madison double perplex up Loki's attack value. And he's going to charge one, two, 
four. I think we want him to be in the way here. That is so much to just do. So one. Loki, do you by chance ignore characters? That'd be so tight if we could get a hit off on Clint. We have to delete Jen first. I think we just have to, I think we just have to go through some a lot of perplexes here. So let's have She-Hulk. Well, let's have Steve perplex up Saracen's attack. We'll go one, two, uh, three, and we'll go four to there. And we'll have Saracen punch Jen. It'll be an 11 to the 18. That'll hit. Uh, I will. She did a set shape change, by the way. You needed a little shape oh, change. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoopsies. I forgot that it's traded with her sideline action. Keeping it all very legal. Okay. okay. No shape change. Um, I'll use my Darcy prop. Darcy prop says miss. We'll do Saracen's prop. That'll hit. Oof. I'll have to, yeah, I'll use. Uh, I guess I could hope for a low blades roll. It's true. It's like a 50 50 whether you can kill her with a blades roll. I will. I'll take the chance. I'll let you roll blades. Okay. A two. Okay. I'll live with it. One, two. Don't want to burn all my props in one basket. That is very, very saying. fair. But at the very least, I feel fairly confident. One, two, three. So that was Steve's perplex on Saracen. So we'll do Jen's perplex on herself. Uh, she'll go. One, two, oh, I've, three. I've been neglecting. That's a free action. Shisha! Uh, no effect. To make an attack? Uh, no, I... for your free action. Oh, my so free perplex. perplex. Okay. Yeah. So Steve's perplex didn't work. Or Jen's own perplex on herself didn't work. So she'll just be an 11. She'll still use this heavy object or this blocking against Darcy. That okay, yeah. That'll, delete. I'll cook Darcy. Steve will get a choreography token, which technically can't be used until... Next turn, and yeah, one, two, three, four. I feel fairly good about this. Double perplex up, charge flurry, Hawkeye to there. Charge flurry blades, we're at 13. Yeah. That'll hit. That'll, that'll do it. Let's see what we can do against Hawkeye. It's two damage two gets game. through. One, two. He at least gains a mobile. If nothing else happens, he at least gains a mobile. And second attack. 13, 18. though? We'll hit an 18? Yeah. Oh, please, the big blades for four. Uh, I think four will do it on Clint. One, two, three, four. Just barely, though. Sidestep up, track suit. We clear vision, and we clear Madison. And it is your go. Madison. All right. I still have, still have my main close attackers. Um, I think. Man, it, it feels dumb wasting an attack on Madison, but also like I will have to attack her at some point. Like she does have at some point some some pretty gnarly support. So let's. She's only three clicks, so yeah. She's on her last, but she does have her once per game ignore the damage thing. Oh, that's thing. right. Yeah. It would get her out of your hair because I have to place her next to somebody with Mystical. Let's um, try. But I guess I could just put it next to Saracen, too. Let's try uh, getting Jen over there. We'll sidestep Jen. We'll see if we can. Oh, nice. If we can just nine into a 17, need an eight shape for one damage. On Madison. Okay. Ooh. Wow. I guess, sure, we'll then place her next to Saracen and ignore the damage okay. taken. That's once per game. That's burned. So that that's action. gone. Um. One, two, three, four. I don't really want Steve to be out of my, my four squares. Uh, a 10 into a 17. Not great. Wouldn't have a prob on it. I don't want to try and break away just in case. 
I fail that roll, so we'll we'll start with Vision. I'd like to get Jed in a better position than next to Madison. So oh, shape change. Shape okay. change. Oh, Bongers. Uh, man, I think I have to I have to risk the breakaway. Yeah. We'll try and break away charge with Hulk. Okay. That's a no. We'll prob it with prob. Jen. That's also a no. That's a rough, that's a rough turn. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't want to. Let's do sidestep there. That's probably better. Well, we can sidestep here. Pick up this heavy, and then we'll throw it at. We'll throw it at tracksuit. Tracksuit. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh, no. Simeon, no. I used my bra. No. All the things go wrong. Uh, and then we will outwit. Man, not too much. Well, outwit tracksuits empower. Okay. Go with that. Just on the off chance that he gets in there and starts bumping damage. Sure. Okay. Beginning of the turn. Let's roll for Madison. She can move up to two squares. Let's roll for her breakaway. She does get it. Uh, so we'll move one, two around vision like that. Still kind of the same thing right next to Hulk. Uh, let's go ahead. Her willpower doesn't matter. Jen's willpower does. Uh, Steve's willpower doesn't matter. And then I think that is it. Okay. I think we're going to drop a little too dangerous on you here, Simeon. Let's go Steve. Hypersonic. Is there a way to try to get... Get Hulk in her instead. Okay. Hypersonic, incapacitate Hulk and She Hulk. Uh, -oh. uh Shape change on Hulk. Shape change on Hulk. Okay. Oh, no. Did not use a perplex, and that will miss. This is so sad. Poor Steve. Let's. It's one action. Oh, we should not have moved Madison. Honestly, if she was catch her next to Saracen. Let's have... Is it within six range she can do her thing? It's in within four. Within four. Let's have Steve perplex down she defense. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's have Jen perplex up her attack value. One, two, three, four. She'll charge, picking up this, and we'll punch Tyler Hayward with it. Okay. So it's a 12 on stuff. That will hit. That should be. At least four damage. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then she will sidestep back two squares. Oh, she definitely does not have sidestep, though. She's way too far away from Steve. Um, Madison does have sidestep. Saracen has sidestep. Loki will have sidestep. Oh, this dude's got it. He'll get in there. Um... Who else? We have one, we really have one action left. So let's have Madison sidestep breakaway. At least we'll, we do have perplex and we do it twice. We'll double perplex up Loki's attack value and then Loki will charge Flurry to here against Jennifer. Okay. It'll be 13, uh, is it within line of fire for Hulk's battle theory thing? It Characters. is within three squares. So you get a shape change on this. Yeah. Shape change. Uh, first attack. All six hits. rolls are killing me. Yeah, uh, I have to prob it, otherwise yeah. she's dead. That still hits. Yeah. And now everybody automatically breaks away from Steve. Hashtag Rogers the musical. And then we will sidestep Vision into where she used to be. We'll clear. Saracen, we'll say it's your go. All right. My team has become much simpler now. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> I'm fine with it's. It's fine. Um, man, I don't want to deal with vision. I've only got one outwit. He's got two rollouts. Ugh. My other options, tracksuit. I guess we can start with trying to sidestep She-Hulk, see if yeah. maybe I can go after Rogers or someone. No, she's gonna stay right there. The single D6 rolls are killing you, Simeon. <laughs> they are bad right now. They're a little rough. Um, I think either of them just straight up KOs Vision with one attack, so. Yeah, I mean he's on his last click. We'll start with She-Hulk. We'll outwit Vision's super senses, and we'll try and target Vision. Shape change, okay. I, I need a seven. Oh my gosh, wow. She-Hulk, why, why are you doing this to yourself? Beating yourself up over this. Uh, I guess my only other option, I don't want to fail another break. Battle Fury? No, he, he does specifically not. definitely doesn't have Battle Fury shape change. Ouch. Oh. Rough turn, rough turn. Clear, clear my vision. Mm -hmm. Wish I could clear my vision. Let's, let Can't Steve see. use willpower. He can do this all day. We'll have Madison roll for her free move. Oh no. Roll for breakaway on Madison. That's a three, so she doesn't get it. Uh, we'll roll for a sidestep breakaway on Madison. She does get it. Let me sidestep one, two to there. We will. Double perplex up Saracen's attack. Maybe. No. Oh, no effect. So me. let me see. Would that just do the first I probably perplex? Perplex? She can use it a second time. So it would get rid of the first perplex, okay. right? And then the second perplex would go through. Yeah, I can only do that um, once per turn. So we have to So I'll have Steve perplex up his own attack. Steve will hypersonic triple target in cap here. Uh, shape change on the Hulkster and shape change on Vision. Whoop. No shape change on Hulk. No shape change on Vision. Okay, 12 on stuff with... Oh. There was some. Whoop, whoop. There was some trying to keep that on the table. Shouldn't have done that. Just roll them. That will hit 18s, though. 12, so, 18. 18. Uh, super yes, senses super on senses. Vision. Okay. Yeah. So it'll at least give everybody an action token, and then flip over my trick arrow. Uh-oh. Did I do that right? Is this big? It is big. On reveal, choose a... Adjacent, choose a square adjacent to a hit target. After resolutions, this character's quake as free as if they occupy the chosen square. And then after resolutions, I generate a marker. So I'm going to choose this square. Okay. And we're going to quake as free. Cool. I think I actually wanted electrical. I don't remember what order I put <laughs> these arrows in. Shape uh, change vision. Uh, shape change Hulk. Because that's really vision's the one that matters the most. Because this can kill vision if we hit this quake. Okay, super senses. Super senses on vision. Okay, so we still put the big arrow in a space. So there's Steve. He did move and he hit, so that's good. And then let's have Saracen. He'll charge here. He'll try to target Vision first with an attack. Okay. Shape change. No. Okay. An 11 on stuff. Ooh. That will hit. Super sensitive. Ah. Okay, so that won't, that won't get us a choreography token. Not like that. And then Steve is going to sidestep. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, there's no way Steve can sidestep to, to get whatever. Jennifer in it. One, two, three, four. Should I perplex up her own speed to a five? Is that what we do? Yeah, I think so. So she'll perplex up her speed, and then she'll charge to here. We'll go after vision. Okay. Shape change first. Okay. All right. Second token, and we will clear Alligator Loki. We do not get a choreography token, so we only move and hit with one person this round. It's your go. And Saracen's probably my best target, so rather than vision on vision violence, we'll go after oh, sure. the vampire. Uh, 10 into your 18. Yeah. That'll just miss, yeah. I don't have anything yeah. to say about that. I can clear these two. Uh, I guess She-Hulk will outwit this guy's empowered once That's more. Yeah. 
Let's do willpower with Steve. He can do this all day. Let's do willpower with Jen. She can also do this all day. Holy smokes. That one. Uh, willpower with Saracen. Madison's free move. She gets it. She wants to stay adjacent to somebody, though. So she'll just go there. All right. That's all of our being turn rolls. I think we started off. Let's have Steve perplex up She Hulk's attack. I don't know if you want to roll for that one or not. There's a lot of perplexes um, going around. No, you only need a six if you if it doesn't go through. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll let that one go. Well, Simeon, she does ignore characters right now. So um, She Hulk, She Hulk can move anywhere right now. Uh, I guess she could pick that up. No, I'll let that one okay. slide. Yeah, I'm more worried about the flurry gator. That's fair. Right now. Uh, and then she'll also perplex it for her own attack. We're going to charge. She automatically breaks away. It doesn't mean she ignores characters, though. So she automatically breaks away from into one, two, three, and then four. Ends in this square. She'll pick this up, and she'll punch Lawyer Hulk with it. All right. Pretty big number for pretty Ouch. big things. Yeah. That'll be five, so three gets through. One, two, three. On to some leap climbing action. And then because it's cool, we gotta have Steve do it again. Uh, so let's go four. And we'll just target her with an attack. 11 to the 17. That'll hit for incapacitate. For one token. And then we flip over the electrical arrow. Oh, no. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, nice. Uh, choose a hit character. Instead, deal uh, instead of normal damage. Oh, I guess so. Instead of getting the action token, actually, since this is instead of normal damage, deal two penetrating damage to the chosen character and up to one other opposing character than two squares. So her and Hulk will take two penetrating damage okay. from Steve. And we will get a choreography so, token this turn. So we're not using... We're not using not cap, using cap, so the replacement of damage, combo. right. So we just do an attack for zero damage, but instead of zero damage. Instead of zero damage, yeah. you take, yeah, so arrows. Two pen? Two pen for her, two pen for Hulk. Oh, that's that's rough. I didn't even get a shape change on that. Now I've got outwit instead of a uh, and shape change. now it's gator time. We're going to double perplex up the gator. Or will you? Oh, wait, oh, she's, she's dead. so sad. The dice don't lie. The gator, one. The gator will charge flurry to there. Oh, yeah. Ouch. That's nasty. Yeah. Um, we'll deal the four okay. with tracksuit and power. I guess, yeah, impervious. We'll try impervious. No. So two after. The second gator attack. It also hits. Got it. Try or <laughs> I'll try my empower. Impervious again. So another two gets through. One, two. Not hating that click. Oh dang! Kind of hating That's it, but a little stout, at least. And that's all I got. I'll give Steve three choreography tokens and clear Saracen. Okay. Everybody has hey. probability <laughs> control. Oh no. Um. Well, I'll, I'll probably hit somebody. Prepare though. to roll. You're a 12. Yeah. I didn't perplex up any of my defenses. Let's see. We will... Man. I think we're going to go after Gator, so... He has Mystics, are you sure? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's rough. Okay. Um, I feel like I Saracen's guess, a good bet. Yeah. To, like, one try shot. Try and get rid of one of the, per, one of the probs. That'll... Even the odds, are like, yeah, right. Uh, to roll this attack four times. Yeah, so. man, an eighteen or an eighteen. Let's go after. Let's just go after She Hulk. Okay. Yeah, she might not be the biggest threat, but we'll go after her. Twelve into the eighteen. Roll number one. Don't uh, don't need a very profit. Cool. Uh, attack number two. That is a seventeen. This is so sad. All right, I will clear vision. <sighs> We're kind of tokened up at least. Uh, She-Hulk, willpower. Steve, willpower. 
Madison free move. She does get that one though, because that's just whatever. So she has to move next to Saracen again to get some perplexies. Steve's gonna sidestep to here, perplex of attack. She'll perplex of his attack. Hypersonic to here, targeting vision. Shape change. Okay. Ooh. Really wanted to drop the big arrow on that one. That's fine. Madison will double perplex up Saracen's attack. He'll try to target vision first. All right, shape change on vision. Okay. That'll hit. Hit super senses on vision. And then that'll take Saracen. Get it. One, two. Or did you want to roll blades? No, I'll do the two damage. Okay. Oh, is he still alive? Oh, yeah. Roll blades then. I forgot he was top dial. Okay. okay. For big five. And then Alligator Loki with. A couple of probs on this attack. 11 to the 17, or 18. And now I think chomping, eating, biting time. Do you want to roll plates on this one? Yeah, sure. Okay. A one a one on blades. A one on blades. He's Hulk still is left. still in it. No, he, I guess no, he would. He's yeah, because he'd be two. All yeah. right. Good, <laughs> good game, Zubi. I didn't... I, I really thought with that opening that I might It was good. Something. And that is our second Adepticon sealed game in the books. Overall, I'm a lot happier with how Steve was able to perform in this game and get the team kind of ramping up. That was, um, yeah. That big shot right away, yeah. that hurt, that was rough. But I think just letting, you know, Hawkeye's got no real good defense and being able yeah. to get rid of him right away really, really helped the team. Uh, so I guess three actions is doable then. It's still socks only having three actions, but it's very doable. I think the trick arrows performed really well. I was happy with kind of forgetting which ones were which. It doesn't say you're allowed to look at them, so I just, I like to kind of do the blind, activated my trick arrow trap card. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty fun. So, I don't know, Sidney, what do you think about your first Adepticon style super sealed? I, I mean, I definitely feel like I played it a little, a little too aggressive. Yeah. Um, especially with like a, the amount of shield, I probably could have left Clint back a little, uh, yeah. losing him and losing Darcy in that second turn was, probably enough to like seal the fate of this team but yeah i i honestly think that this team could have been played really well um i just didn't happen to do it but no um i think the the thing the, my big takeaway is how much disney plus still is just really solid it really is just so, so much, strong so much good stuff gator loki gator loki dude really good the so little vision good. as like a taxi especially combining these two sets where there's celebrities in both, like a lot of celebrities yeah. in both. That's really helpful. Um, the amount of team abilities and stuff that are really helpful. I think the original Disney Plus had a lot more shield and um, stuff of that nature. Maybe mystics, a lot more of that. Yeah, there's a lot of mystics in that set. This set seems to have a lot more team player and underworld, which a lot. is a good combination. A yeah. Yeah. So. Well, right on. How well do you think they merged? Do you just feel like, wow, they work really well together? Like you said, there's a lot of celebrity. There's kind of a bit yeah. of a crossover with Mystical. I think, I mean, optically, it, it looks like a great team. Like, yeah, combining different aspects of the MCU through Disney Plus shows, and then also just like over like the generations. So like having like a MCU vision, like this one. Right. This one kind of was in WandaVision, but I mean, to me, he's more like the uh, Civil War kind of style. Oh, sure, that's fair. Um, but combining that with like a Clint Barton, a Darcy, I mean, Tyler Hayward, eh, who cares? No one likes the bad guy. Yeah, uh, the, the kind of forgettable villain of WandaVision, yeah. yeah. But like, no, like having them uh, team up with the, the She-Hulks and, you know, the laid back Surfer Hang Hulk. Hang yeah, Surfer Hulk, yeah. Is pretty optically really fun. Yeah. And then I think Beyond that, they do function and work really well together. Yeah. I think that this, on paper, this team should have done really good. I just didn't play it quite right, I don't think. But uh, it felt really strong on the, the first turn. Yeah. Uh, but no, and same with like yours, having like oh, sure, yeah. musical Steve tracksuit, like them teaming up, random vampire dude that's like... Yeah, this team is definitely super random. There's... But it also makes sense because they're all—I mean—they're all from the same universe. The same so. universe, yeah. It's—it's it's just fun, is yeah. what it, what it ends up being. I think even like really meme -y characters like Steve have a place, or 
you know, the really meme character of, like, Madison is just mm -hmm. so good with all the mystical stuff you can find in Sealed, either in her own set or, like, Alligator Loki in the old set. I think they blend really well together. I think it makes for a very unique-looking Sealed, too. Like, even though they're from the same style of shows, all the Disney Plus shows, when you look at this, you're like, what is going on on that game board? Yeah. Versus, like, if you combine, you know, an X-Men set and an Avengers set, you're like, oh, yeah, sure, the Avengers yeah. the X-Men, you know, whatever. Or, like, a Justice League set and a Batman set, you're like, oh, yeah, sure, okay. But now this is like, whoa, who is that guy? Who is that guy? You know, it's very unique looking on the game board, which overall I'm really stoked about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this two video series here. If you want more Adepticon Seal practice, let us know. We can still shuffle and buy new boosters, I guess. It's, and so can depends you. Depends on the interest. If you, yeah. If you want to, if you're not going to Adepticon, but you want to try this format, this format out, yeah. Um, yeah, have your local game shop do a, when next phase comes out, do a one in one or two of one and two one in one. Two in one, yeah. Yeah, like. I think yeah. it's a lot of fun. It gives you a lot of options, and it reminded me of how much Disney Plus is still just super... I mean, it's only a year and a half old, so it's... Which is so crazy. Yeah. To about, but yeah. But how much, how much Disney Plus is like still just really well-costed and really functions well. All right. Right on, guys. For more HeroClix content and everything you crave, remember to dial H.